So talk about what genetically modified foods are. These are these are foods that are, are bred to resist <coughs> pesticides, so that right for the most part, so that mm -hmm. uh, heavy pesticides well, can be put on. So what what exactly is the danger, and what what is happening when we eat these or consume okay. these in our body? That's basically two types. I mean, and there's lots of different mm -hmm. types, but let's just pick corn. Okay. Right? There's two types of corns genetically modified. The one that has a gene in it that makes it resistant against herbicide. Mm -hmm. So herbicides prevent the growth of weeds. So now they can dump tons of mm -hmm. herbicide, like atrazine, on it. Which, by the way, in Europe it's banned. Here we're still using it, hundreds of thousands of tons. And it washes in the rain into your drinking water. You drink that stuff, and so on and so on. Right? OK, so the gene is inserted to make it resistant against atrazine, uh, against herbicide. Now, when you follow up on that one and you use that, that means the genetically modified corn and the, maybe the, the toxins that you put on there, because now you're putting zillions of tons of, herbi of, of uh, the herbicide on it. When you do that, it, is, it definitely is an endocrine disruptor. It causes the interruption of normal development, and it's extremely poisonous. There's no question about it. But that's just one area. There's even a worse area. And that's when they insert a gene into the corn that makes a pesticide. Well, when the, cho when the corn ripens, there's lots of bugs out there that want to eat it, right? So when the bugs come here, the corn makes its own pesticide. But the corn doesn't have a radar system like we have when I fly my airplane out of Torrens Airport. Oh, yeah, airplane on whatever this degree, you know, avoid and so on and so on. No, it makes the pesticides all the time. So when you buy that corn, you get corn plus lots of that pesticide. And that's really what Seralino in France at Cayenne University used, right? Mm. And uh, demonstrated how extremely toxic that stuff can be. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's from, and, and they're doing it in literary on every level, you know. I mean, yes, I see there are some advantages, you know, and people think that crossbreeding, like making a tomato that is a little bit uh, more stable against whatever decomposition, lasts a little bit longer, whatever, mm -hmm. yeah, that's totally different, crossbreeding from genetically modified foods. Mm -hmm. Here's one major example. When they harvest the corn and they, the stalks, they let them lay on the ground and cattle feeds on it. It's a magnificent way of feeding the cattle. Mm -hmm. But when they eat the genetically modified corn, the stalks, guess what? The DNA from the genetically modified mm -hmm. corn winds up can be shown to be in the blood of the cattle. This has never been shown. I mean, we are messing around with, with God's inventions and uh, it, it's just horrifying. Mm.